Hey everybody, thanks as always for tuning in to P-Dubs Arcade Loft, where we always appreciate it when you come hang out upstairs with us. On uh, today's episode, we're going to do a quick little tutorial video. Some of my viewers have been asking me uh, to get back to doing more tutorial videos on the At Games product, so we're going to do that right here for you. We're going to show you how easy it is to sign up for an ArcadeNet subscription, as well as how easy it is to get your Flash Drive X set up. That way you can play the 22 Gottlieb pinball games that come with your subscription, we're going to get all that up and running in this quick tutorial video, as well as we're going to show you um, what's really cool is the Legends Gamer Mini is now, as of uh, last week, is now on the same Universal Firmware rollout schedule, along with all the other Legends Arcade family of products. We're going to do all of this right after this. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're back. So the first thing we want to do is we want to hop on the internet. So let me get the uh, let me get the internet displayed here for you. And of course, we have our At Games um, website. So you just go to atgames.net. Of course, let's go to our screen only here. Let's get that off of there, and let's get that on there. So with our atgames.net, if you want to sign up for ArcadeNet, obviously if you own uh, a Legends product already, you're going to have an Arcade Net ID. If you're brand new, you're going to create one, of course. But you're just going to go up here to the top where it says Legends Arcade Platform. We're going to click on Arcade Net, and you'll see there's a Subscribe Now button. But don't be so quick, don't be so hasty to hit this button, guys. Make sure you go down and you take a look at your options. They have the Standard Plan, which includes 1080p, 60 frames per second streaming. And, of course, you can log in up to six devices under the same Legends, um, I'm sorry, under the same Arcade Net ID. So let's say you own a Gamer Mini, a Legends Pinball Machine, a Gamer Pro, a Legends 1.1 cabinet, uh, a Gamer, uh, a Legends Core. Um, what else is there? Legends Connect. I mean, pretty much the entire Atkins lineup you might be able to fit under a single Arcade Net ID if you own all the products. And only pay a monthly fee. You'll also have access to hundreds of arcade games that you can stream, cloud pinball games that you can stream, as well as you'll get the 22 uh, Farsight Studios pinball games as well. Of course, unlimited multiplayer, unlimited arcade net, all that kind of stuff. You can do voice chat with your friends, etc., etc. And then, of course, they have the basic plan right here. This only gets you 720p, 30 frames per second streaming. This one is free for everybody, but you don't have access to all those games, guys. You don't have access to hundreds of arcade games and things like that. Now, before you sign up, though, if you did purchase an arcade cabinet uh, from Sam's Club, this is where you want to click on to sign up. That way you can get your three months of free arcade net. And obviously it's going to ask you as you go through the sign up process to put your user ID here. And of course, that is found under the settings. They have some nice pictures, tells you where to find your user ID and all that kind of stuff. Now, of course, once you determine which plan you want to go with, I would obviously recommend going with the standard plan. That way you guys have access to a whole bunch of stuff versus just a few things. It's going to be $20 a month or you can sign up for six months and that's going to be $60. So you're going to save 50 percent, right? And then, of course, if you have a Sam's Club bundle, you're going to get your three months on top of that. So if you think about it, guys, it's about it's about nine months of arcade net for 60 bucks. I think that's OK. Click on sign up. Now, uh, it'll, it'll then have you go through the sign up process, uh, enter your payment, all that kind stuff. As you guys can see, I've already signed up. I've already subscribed. So I'm getting that little error message. So unfortunately, I can't show you any more. What I can tell you is the the games included, the arcade games included, are the same 57 arcade games that have been on the um, arcade net since launch. Excuse me. And of course, uh, the 22 pinball games as well. Now, uh, there will be a couple hundred more games rolled out and added to this in due time. So it could be worth it to check that out and see what at games adds and all that kind of stuff. Now, of course, when you're playing on Arcade Net, and let's head over to our, let's head over to our, um, what should we call? It? Let's head over to uh, the um, our actual Legends Gamer Mini now. So let me just switch my monitor real quick, and all that kind of stuff. That way, I'm looking at the same thing you guys are seeing. 
All right, so let's go back. So I have my Legends Gamer Mini right in front of me, which is super, super cool. And the Legends Gamer Mini is now on the same firmware rollout schedule. And I, of course, it doesn't come with pinball buttons, but I took my pinball buttons off my 1.1 cabinet and I stuck them on my Legends Gamer Mini. I was super excited to do that. I, I love the Legends Gamer Mini. It's, it's perfect for me. I just love this thing. All right, guys, well, let's keep going. So obviously you want to make sure after you sign up for ArcadeNet, because that's the first step, guys, sign up for ArcadeNet, whether it's basic or, or, or standard. And then you want to head over to your settings, whether you're on a Gamer, Gamer Mini, Gamer Pro. This will also work on the arcade cabinets as well. Make sure you update your firmware. You want to be on firmware 5.16.0. For the sake of time, guys, I've already updated the firmware, as you can see right there. Now let's kind of take a look here at... Um, we obviously want to get the uh, want to get you full screen here, guys. So bear with me one quick second. There we go. So the firmware is updated. Now at this point, guys, what you want to do is you want to plug a flash drive into your gamer core, into the core that comes with the gamer mini, or into the arcade machine itself, um, or into the core that comes with the gamer pro. You can use a USB hub. Uh, that way you could have multiple USBs as well as light guns and all the other kind of stuff plugged in if desired. Now, the guys, it's important to note this, though, for security reasons, you do have to use a different USB for Flash Drive X for all of your devices. So if you have three At Games devices on your ArcadeNet account, you have to use a different Flash Drive for all three for Flash Drive X. It's for security prevent file sharing of the free pinball games that come with your subscription and all that kind of stuff. And of course, you have to be logged in as well to access the games that will be stored on your Flash Drive X. Again, it's all security stuff to make sure that no one is uh, illegally sharing these pinball games. Um, so first step you want to do is get your Flash Drive plugged in. Head over to Flash Drive X. Once you head over to Flash Drive X under Settings, you click on Format, you click Yes. It says, are you sure? Are you sure you want to format? And it's going to format for you. It's a really quick process, as you can see right here. Once it's formatted, you click Dismiss, and now you want to mount it. So you click Mount. So this basically activates it, right? Activates it, turns it on. Now it's been mounted. All right. So as you can see here, this is a 32 gigabyte drive. And the, the whole flash drive X took up only 44 megabytes right there. So let's go back. So now that we have flash drive X set up, we can head over to ArcadeNet. And again, guys, the first thing you'll see under ArcadeNet is, of course, you have access. If you have the standard subscription like me, where you actually pay a monthly fee, you'll have access to the 57 games that have already been there this entire time with hundreds of more games on their way. And of course, you can access the cloud pinball games. And again, these games, as well as the arcade net games, you are streaming these games. But when it comes to the pinball games that come included with your subscription, you're going to download these to your Flash Drive X. And once downloaded to your Flash Drive X, you'll be able to play these and they're going to be running locally off the hardware. So we're going to pick Big Shot. You'll notice at the bottom it says install. We click A for install. And it's going to install this game on our Flash Drive. It's that simple, guys. Once it's installed, we can fire it up and start playing. Downloading, downloading. We're doing this in real time for you guys. We're doing this in real time. And there you go. Success. And now that it's been installed, you'll notice on the bottom you can access the online leaderboards. You'll see right there. These are people. It all depends on what device you're on to as well. So these are the leaderboard rankings. And let's click on A Play. And we are going to run this game right off of our hard drive, or right off of our thumb drive. Which is great. Because without, with it set up this way, we're not streaming, which is super, super cool. And boom. There you go. Rock and roll. And the games run super great. Now, the games that, uh, these Gottlieb games, will be running in 
720p with a frames per second of anywhere from 30 to 60 frames per second, depending on the game. And as you can see there, my nudge buttons work on the side of my gamer mini. I tilted that on purpose for you. And of course, these games on the actual Legends Pinball Machine run at 1080p 60 frames per second. But on all other at Games devices, the arcade machines, as well as the Gamer Pro Gamer Mini, this is these games run at um, 720p and around uh, 30 to 60 frames per second. There's no flipper delay. Everything works really well. And it's a fun experience and all that stuff. I should have done a tilt there. And all you have to do is do that for all of your games. And of course, what's really cool, guys, is uh, when you do this, what's really cool is um, you can set this up in portrait mode and play these games in portrait mode or in classic mode. Right now I have it in classic mode, as you can see here. And it's a lot of fun. I think I'll do a pinball gameplay live stream now that we have access to all 22 games. And uh, we might do that a little bit later, but just wanted to do a quick tutorial video for you guys. But that's it. That's how easy it is to get everything set up. It's really easy, guys, to get this stuff set up and running on your Legends products. But keep in mind, there's a couple caveats. You got to use a different flash drive for all your devices and all that stuff. So, guys, if you enjoyed the quick tutorial video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. Leave your comments, feedback, questions below. And as always, guys... Thank you for subscribing.